Across the Great Plains of the United States, the wheat curl mite transmits a complex of three viruses to winter wheat. Wheat streak mosaic virus, high plains wheat mosaic virus, and triticum mosaic virus. All three of these viruses can infect wheat plants at the same time, but surveys have shown that wheat streak mosaic virus is the most prevalent virus of the three. Infection of wheat by these viruses results in similar symptoms. In winter wheat, virus symptoms generally do not appear until spring, after temperatures warm to above 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, in the central Great Plains when fall conditions are unusually warm or under the typically warm conditions in the southern Great Plains, symptoms may develop before plants enter dormancy in the fall. For optimal management, it is important to be able to identify virus symptoms in oversummering volunteer wheat and in the developing wheat crop. At a larger spatial scale across the field, there is often a gradient pattern of symptoms creating a border effect with the most severe yellowing occurring near the mite and virus source. However, if the mite virus source is large and heavily infested with mites, this gradient may extend up to a mile or more. Thus, fields adjacent to the source will appear uniformly damaged. Symptoms of virus infection develop progressively on the wheat plant, and observing this progression enables a more accurate diagnosis. The first symptoms of virus infection are subtle and begin with a mottling appearance on the uppermost leaf that is characterized by a mosaic pattern of light or greenish yellow and dark green. This discoloration may take on a more spotted appearance when more than one virus is involved. An additional symptom on the leaf is the tight curling of the leaf edge caused by the feeding of the mites. As the virus develops in the plant, leaf symptoms become more obvious with increased yellowing of the leaves along the entire length of the leaf. As new leaves emerge on the plant, they begin to show the more subtle mosaic pattern of discoloration and the older leaves become progressively more yellow. Plants infected early in the fall show more severe symptoms. As symptom severity increases, these early infected plants begin to show severe stunting and a distinct spraddling or laying down of the tillers. If the level of infection is high enough to cause severe stunting and spraddling, this will result in extreme yield impact. Plants infected later in the fall or in the early spring may show considerable leaf yellowing, but they will not show this severe stunting and spraddling. By observing the progression of these symptoms across the wheat field and on the wheat plants, a positive diagnosis can be made and an accurate estimation of the severity and impact of this potentially devastating disease complex will result.